sometimes the right hand side of your linear second or differential equation is a solution of the complementary equation. How can we find a particular solution using the method of undetermined coefficients in this case? What happens if we just try? Well, let's try and see what happens in this video. So take, for example, y double plus y equals sine x. And you can solve your complementary equation and you get y complementary equals c1 times sine x plus c2 times cosine x. So this right hand side over here is a uh, part of the solution of the complementary problem. Well, that can happen. You can put any right hand side you like. So what happens if you just try uh, a times sine x plus b times cosine x as our particular solution? as we would uh, try normally. What happens then? Well, we compute uh, y, pr uh, y particular prime, a times cosine x minus b times sine x, differentiate again to find y double minus a times sine x minus b times cosine x, substitute this in the differential equation, so we get y double uh, plus y particular. And what happens then? Those terms cancel out and those terms cancel out, so this is equal to zero but it should be equal to sine x for all x. Well, regardless of a and b you would pick, you can never get it equal to sine x, of course, because it's equal to zero. So what happens? Well, actually, it's not so strange that it zeroes out, because you took a times sine x plus b times cosine x, which are is exactly of the form c times sine x plus c two times cosine x, and uh, that's the solution of your complementary equation. So if you plug it into a differential equation, of course you get zero. And of course you won't get sine x. Well, okay, so I'm now convinced that this particular solution won't work and that we could have known that beforehand. But what does work? Well, if you find uh, something like this, you need to add an additional factor of x. Uh, we try a p uh, as particular solution a times x times sine x plus b times x times cosine x. Uh, similar to what happened uh, in our uh, d equals zero case. Uh, previously. So what happens if we uh, now differentiate, it's now a bit more complicated of course, differentiate the a times x times sine x first, you get the a times sine x plus a times x times cosine x, then differentiate this term over here, you get the b times cosine x minus b times x times sine x, you need a second derivative, so differentiate a times sine x using a times cosine x, differentiate the second term, a times x times cosine x using other a times uh, cosine x and then minus ax sine x. Differentiate the b times cosine x yields the minus b times sine x and differentiate minus b times x times sine x yields another minus b times sine x using the product rule minus b times x times cosine x. Now we plug, it in, plug this in into our differential equation y double plus y and we see uh, that we have a 2 times a times cosine x over here we have a minus a times x times sine x, but this is cancelled by the a times x times sine x from the yp. Uh, we have a minus 2 times b times sine x, and a minus b times x times cosine x, we do y double plus yp, that's cancelled by the b times x times cosine x. So only terms we are left with are the 2 times a times cosine x minus 2 times b times sine x, which has to be equal to sine x. Well, it means uh, that a has to be equal to 0 and minus 2 times b uh, times sine x equals sine x, so b equals minus 1 half. So now we have found our particular solution with b equals minus 1 half and a equals 0. We found our particular solution minus 1 half times x times cosine x. So we also have our general solution because the general solution is the sum of the uh, solution of the complementary equation and the particular solution we found. So there you have your general solution y 